Every single day, the human race produces around 70 billion farts, meaning roughly 10 of those are yours. But why doesn't your gas seem half as smelly as those around you? Why do we like the smell of our own farts? Hilarious as it may seem, scientists have actually confirmed the fact that, in blind smell tests, we truly do find our own smells much more appealing than others. Simply put, the more familiar you are with something, whether it be a song, picture, or even a smell, the more likely you are to prefer it. And because the bacterial population in your body producing these smells is completely unique from every other individual, our farts truly have a one-of-a-kind brand that your nose can differentiate. But from an evolutionary perspective, our reaction of disgust to other people's odor is likely our brain's attempt to prevent us from doing harm to our own bodies, specifically interacting with sources of disease. When you think of it, most things that don't smell good aren't good for you, and the greater the risk of disease, the more intense your response will be. Surprising as it may seem, farts can spread disease. In fact, there are many reported cases of farts spreading Streptococcus pyogenes, a pathogen that can cause tonsillitis, scarlet fever, heart disease, and even flesh-eating disease. Seriously, the pathogen is expelled as fecal matter or poop particles in the air. Of course, this was a major concern for our ancestors who ran around naked, but for us underwear or pant-wearing folks, farts don't pose a real threat. And it's important that we've adapted to like our own odors so that we can maintain proper hygiene. In the same way, mothers perceive their biological children's poop as less offensive than others, which allows them to take care of them without disgust. Of course, some of you may be thinking, I don't find farts disgusting at all, and you're not alone. Perception of disgust is a combination of variables like age, gender, culture, and even personality. So much so that people who are more anxious or socially conservative are often more sensitive to stink than their adventure-seeking friends. The anterior cingulate cortex, which processes surprise, also plays a big role. When we fart, we know it and can anticipate the accompanying smell. But when somebody rips a silent but deadly fart into a crowded room, the brain's expectations of reality are smashed by the negative stimulus, making it all seem even more foul. So next time you feel a silent stinker coming on, you might want to give everyone a heads up. Unless of course you're alone. Then you can bask in the glory of your own stench. Don't forget, the ASAP Science book just went on presale. Not only can you own a physical version of some of your favorite video episodes, which we've redrawn and updated, but we wrote a whole bunch of new chapters answering questions that have never been answered here on ASAP Science. Check out asapscience.com book to get your copy. We truly appreciate all of the support. You can also watch our latest ASAP Thought video, The Science of Beards, where we debate the scientific advantages of growing it out or staying clean shaven. To beard or not to beard? Head over there with the link in the description and let us know which side wins. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.